four, three, two, one. Main engine start, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Maven, looking for clues about the evolution of Mars through its atmosphere. are looking good. We do have roll program in, right as expected. We are actively controlling the mixture ratio. Valve position looks good. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. RS-68A main engines ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins its initial pitch and yaw maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 81 seconds. At 81 seconds, the vehicle also reaches maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. At 3 minutes 45 seconds, the port and starboard engines are throttled down. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard engines are shut down, followed two seconds later by jettison of the port and starboard boosters. The center engine is immediately throttled to full power to maximize performance. Approaching main engine cutoff, the Delta IV is located 69 miles in altitude and 361 miles downrange. It is traveling at a speed of more than 15,112 miles. Boosters igniting, the engines firing. Ramping up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of Tim Coper, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peak on their way to the International Space Station. So far, getting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single core engine. The first stage of the Soyuz, 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter. It's going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. We'll be getting regular launch performance calls from the uh, engineers out there at the launch pad in Baikonur. 48 seconds and counting after launch. Everything's... Start, two, one, 
booster ignition, and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond.